Well, we're back from Paul Green now, and back onto the Eden plots. I'll show you what I got. Potatoes! Now, for this season, we have selected some first earlies, second earlies, and main crop potatoes. Potatoes! Uh, which I'll show you right now. This is, this is this season's potatoes that we're going to be doing. All right. So here are the potatoes that we're going to be doing this year. We have the Ulster Prince. Prince of Ulster. They're very nice, them. Very tasty. Renowned for its er early boiling qualities. Early boiling qualities. Suitable for salad, boiling and baking. These are first earlies, which we'll discuss in a second. Kestrel, a great looking and tasting potato. This is a second early. Suitable for boiling, baking, roasting, chips and mashing. So it's a good all rounder that. I'll do the lot. They're nice. They're all good, these. We've tried and tested these. They're all tasty and good. And there's another second early called Charlotte. Charlotte is the most popular UK salad potato. Suitable for salad, boiling and mashing. And Charlotte, a lovely, waxy little beasts now for our main crop our big spuds I've got the Maris Piper which did well last year and we also we're also trying King Edwards now although King Edwards probably the most famous potato on the market like it says on the, on the package there um, we've never actually grown King Eddie's before King Edwards but we're going to give them a whirl this year so yeah, then Maris Piper were good last year, very prolific, and uh, we got some good good sized spuds off them. I'm not doing the Sarpo Mira this year because uh, the flavour's not fantastic. I don't think on the Sarpo Mira for me. I prefer um, definitely prefer the Maris Piper for flavour. Although the Sarpo Miro potato, the sort of pinky red potato, Sarpo Miro, it does have the benefit of um, lasting a long time. It's it's blight resistant, blight resistant Sarpo Miro. So uh, if you do suffer from blight in your area, potato blight, the sort of uh, blackish spots all over the leaves. Um, that's your variety to choose, Sarpo Mira. But we're not doing them this year. I've decided against them. I'm favouring those. I'm favouring the uh, the Maris Piper, which are a good main crop. And we're trying the King Eddies, which are a tried and tested variety. So we're going to get cracking. I'm going to get some um, of the first earlies, the Ulster Prince. I'm going to start them off um, in the pots. But first of all, we're going to chit the potatoes. So we're only going to start them off in the pots, in the Asda pots, the Asda cut flower buckets, in about um, in about three or four weeks, certainly after the 17th of March, which I believe is St Patrick's Day. That's the traditional time to start your potatoes off, St Paddy's Day. And the first early is take 10 to 12 weeks to come through to maturity and be ready for harvesting. But we chit ours. A lot of people these days don't tend to chit them. The farmer doesn't chit his potatoes. He just puts them in the ground. But we're going to be chitting these. So I'm going to get them into the egg trays. Let's crack on. So this is an Ulster, Ulster Prince. That's actually just started to chit. The green shoots that you can see coming off the top there. Is um, where the horns come. I call them horns, but they're not really horns. Horns or something like that. They call them. It's the stem base that grows up from there and travels up, and the potatoes come off the stem. But around the base of it, you can see these little nobduly bits around the base. Oop, it's tipping over. The little nobduly bits is where the roots come. So the roots come. Oh, stand up straight, you silly boy. The roots come there and will spread out from there and go down and then the horns come up and hopefully get uh, festooned with lots of little potatoes for our bellies but yeah 
That's the chitting. That's already started to chit, see. Okay. Okay, so Jameson Brothers, who produce these potatoes, um, are quite famous because they've got the, I think they have the world record for the most varieties of potatoes. Something like 667 different varieties of potatoes. It's quite amazing. Uh, Jameson's is um, just across the border into Scotland. If you go past Carlisle, it's on um, the old Carlisle Road. But it's just across the border into Scotland. Dumfries and Galloway or something like that. That area of Scotland. It's about, it's about 20 miles from, uh, from Carlisle. But it is on the Scottish side. But yeah, they produce loads and loads of different varieties of potatoes. Bit of... Uh, useless information for you these first earlies are going to be uh, are going to be started off probably on st patrick's day which is in a couple of weeks time two or three weeks time uh, but yeah we're chitting them up now a lot of them have got chits on already i'll show you <clears throat> there they all are now you plant them when you're putting them in you make sure as best as you can that the chits are pointing upwards to the sky because obviously that's where the stem is going to grow but on a few of these, they've got they've got several chits, so you're probably going to have to lie them like that. Ideally, you want them so they're like that to prevent any rot off if they get too wet. But we're doing these in buckets so we can control the amount of uh, water they receive, and they'll be planted like that, horns sticking up to the sky and bums down. That's that's where the umbilical cord, if you like, from the uh, the mother potato plant was attached to this particular spud. It was attached down there on the bum, bum and snout. I used to think that the the, um, the roots came out from that, but they don't, they come out from here. You can see it clearer actually on this one where the little nodes are, are coming on. Those white nodes are where the roots will come through and they'll spread down and around and then the horns will come up. The potato tends to grow above where the seed potato is, so you'll get the potato crop growing above that. So we usually put these about three inches from the bottom of the bucket, these, these style buckets, the Asda cut flower buckets. We'll put them about three inches from the bottom. I'll show you the process. So here we've got some John Innes seed mix there, because I'm going to be starting off my seedlings. Uh, my brassicas and what have you. Picked up some multi-purpose compost as well. Um, the top three there are the new ones that I've picked up. Three for 12 quid at Paul Green then. Not too bad, is it? So altogether there I've got... What have I got there? 150... Plus 240... What's that? 390... 390 litres of compost there, and I've got some more in there from last year. I've got another 180 litres in there. So, yeah, we're knocking on for 600 litres. And the John Ennis for the seed starts. These pak choy, they're ready now. In fact, some of them are starting to bolt at the tops. Get the florets at the top, so we're going to take those as well. I'll take them tomorrow. I couldn't resist, I had to pick up some more spuds. I've got some Maris Piper, another set of Maris Piper there. So that's two lots of Maris Piper I've got now. Some Maris Bard, which are a first early. High yielding early crops, let's uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. And there you are, another bag of Ulster Prince. Happy days. Well, I was going to start some off there, some of them potatoes, but I've got to get off now because the wife... The lovely wife has been called into work, so I've got to be uh, daddy daycare and look after the kids. But I'll be back on tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed, and uh, we'll have a catch up then. All right, boys and girls, see if you don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. I've been Guru Mafinda. You've been beautiful, fragrant, and fantastic if you're a lady. You've been butch, virile, masculine, and all that kind of good stuff if you're a bloke. And if you're something in between, you're something in between, aren't you? And we love you all. Peace, love and happy Mondays from the Guru Mafinda Magical Plots of Eden. And uh, have a good one. Alright, see you later guys. Take care.
Bye-bye now.